Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's 5 minute D&T revision and this is metals. Where do metals come from? Metals are extracted from the earth's crust. The extracted materials are called ores. The extracted ore and rock are washed to pro and processed to remove impurities. The ores are heated in a furnace to create molten metals. Properties of metals. Ductile. This is a property of metal. This is the ability to, for material to deform, usually by stretching along its length. So for example, copper is ductile. It can be pulled into wire. Malleable. This is the ability of a metal to permanently deform in all directions without cracking. So materials, metals that can be bent or pressed into shape are malleable. Hard. This is the ability of a material to resist wear, scratching and in indentation. So hard, uh, tall steel resists scratching and indentation. It is hard. And last of all, toughness. This is a characteristic of a material that does not, so it does not break or shatter when receiving a blow. So um, certain grades of cast iron are tough. You can hit them, hammer them a vice and it will not crack. Ferrous metals. These contain iron. These are usually magnetic. These will rust or generally rust or corrode if not protected with paint or similar. And the ores are abundant. So iron is abundant, so it's generally a low cost metal. Non-ferrous metals. These do not contain iron. They are non-magnetic. They are generally more corrosion resistant, but they generally are more costly metals than ferrous metals. So sum up, ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Ferrous metals contain iron, are usually magnetic and will rust or corrode. Non-ferrous metals do not contain iron, are non-magnetic and are more corrosion resistant mild steel so let's look at some metals mild steel mild steel is a ferrous metal it is magnetic it is a common ore so it is a medium cost material or metal it is malleable it, but it does need to be protected from corrosion so many car body panels are made from mild steel Next metal, stainless steel. Stainless steel is a ferrous metal that contains iron. It is magnetic, although there are non-magnetic grades of stainless steel. Um, it is a common ore. It is tough, but it is corrosion resistant. It has other metals added to it, which make it corrosion resistant. Because it is corrosion resistant, it's often used for kitchen sinks. High carbon steel. High carbon steel is a ferrous metal. It is magnetic. It is a common ore, so it's a medium cost metal. It's very hard, so it resists wear. But it does need to be protected from corrosion. Because it is hard and resists wear, it is often used for drill bits. Cast iron. Cast iron is a ferrous metal. It contains iron. It is magnetic. It is strong in compression. Some grades are tough, but it, it, it will crack if subjected to certain loads. And it is resistant to corrosion. So you can see there there's a bench vise which is made from cast iron. Non-ferrous metals. These metals, remember, do not contain iron and they are not magnetic. Aluminium. Aluminium is a non-ferrous metal. It is an element. Aluminium is lightweight. Aluminium is a common ore, so it's a medium cost metal. It is very easily recycled and recycled aluminium is used in the processing of new aluminium. 
it is corrosion resistant or it, it will corrode uh, electrolytically with steel and it is used mainly to it is used for making aeroplanes because of its lightweight copper copper is a non-ferrous metal it is a very good conductor it is a higher cost metal it is ductile so it can be pulled into wire it is corrosion resistant and it is used for copper wire for electric electrical products zinc zinc is a non-ferrous metal it has a low it is a lower melting point metal it provides a corrosion resistant coating to steel because it is less reactive so it is used for coating steel the items like railings and this is called galvanizing so there's some galvanized railings brass brass is a non-ferrous metal it is an alloy it is copper and zinc mixed together it is hard it resists wear and it is extremely corrosion resistant because of that it is used for boat propellers Alloys. So we said that brass is a mixture of two metals. An alloy is a mixture of at least two elements, where at least one element is a metal. Many alloys are a mixture of two or more metals. Brass is an alloy. It is much harder and resists wear better compared to copper or zinc. So it has better properties than the two base metals. Why are alloys stronger than pure metals? This is due to the metal structure. Pure metals are arranged in uniform molecular structures. You can see the pure metal there with a the regular structure of a crystal, crystalline structure. An alloy, you can see the two materials there make the structure different. If we put a load onto a pure metal, the same load onto an alloy, we can see that the metal can move. And this means that the alloy is harder and stronger than the pure metal. So that is alloys. Well, that's um, metals. So thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology Revision.